today y'all i actually had a whole request from my husband today okay a whole request y'all he asked was for like it, you gotta you gotta check it out i asked for it. here it is yeah actually he didn't he didn't <clears throat> refer this one specifically he's just like you should do some more dave Chappelle. so mm -hmm. we pulled this one up and this is the one we're getting into so uh this one is killing them softly killing them soft killing them softly. part one y'all if he come for part one he got to come for part two I'm okay. here for it. You got yep. to come for part two. You can't send me in here by myself to do part two if you're here for part one. Gotcha. That's why I'm here. I'm, I'm here for playing, it. Y'all know I be talking crazy all the time. <laughs> I'm just playing, babe. I'm just playing. Okay? I'm here for it. Let's so, go. yeah. Uh, yeah. So, we jumping into Dave Chappelle today, y'all. So, I ain't finna hold this video up, <laughs> y'all. This video is long enough. So, go on and get your popcorn ready. Yeah. Huh? And let's go on and get into this video, y'all. Oh, okay. snap. Hey, Ow. hey, <laughs> your stomach muscles are going to be hurting after this one. I can guarantee you, man. Uh-oh. Dave Chappelle, like, like the Richard Pryor of our time, I feel like this. You know what I mean? Like, I you feel like, like that? I feel like Dave Chappelle is like, is that funny. Okay. That funny, that iconic. If you feeling that way, hey. Hit the button. Let's tap in, y'all. <laughs> All right. I'm so tired of looking at that red light. I don't know what to do. All right. So, yeah. Let's go, y'all. Historic Lincoln Theater in Washington, D.C. Dave Chappelle. Thank you. Yeah, look at this. Thank you, thank you. Hey. Oh, yeah. Hey. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, really? Boy, that will make it good to come home, boy, I swear. <laughs> I know, man, it's been a while, it's been a while. Right. Yeah. DC's different. <laughs> I've been gone, man. It took me years to be able to do this show, boy. DC has changed. It's different now. There's <laughs> a lot of white people walking around, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh. I mean, I left, I left D.C. in the 80s. It was, it was not like this in the 80s when crack was going on. Remember when crack was going on? Uh, white people be looking at D.C. from Virginia with binoculars and shit. <laughs> well, that looks dangerous. Not yet. <laughs> oh, God. New white people. You can't scare these white people. I tried. <laughs> Roll up on him. Boo! The hell is wrong with you? <laughs> Those days are over. <laughs> I'm glad that, you know, like we're doing a show here by Howard, you know, and you see like white people come out, and that's good. One thing I'm seeing, you'll be walking down the street and you'll see like a group of black dudes walking. Not just any old black dude, we talking, you know, thugs. <laughs> talking, you know, there'd be some thugs. And in a group, in a group, they got like one or two, sometimes as many as three white guys to be with them. You ever seen this shit? <laughs> well, let me tell you something about those white guys. Those white guys are the most dangerous motherfuckers in them groups. <laughs> well, it's true. It's true, man. Right. There ain't no telling what they've done to get them black dudes respect. Well, them black dudes have seen them do some wild shit, I'll tell you that. I've been trying to tell brothers that. Every, every group of brothers should have at least one white guy in it. I'm serious, for safety. <laughs> Uh-oh, I'm wondering where he's going to go with hey, this right here. He's not even to say something crazy, okay? No, here we he go, He said dog. he need at least one white guy out of the crew just to kind of offset it. Not for safety, okay? Not safety. 
I'm serious, for safety. Because <laughs> right? when the shit goes down, somebody's gonna need to talk to the police. I mean, that's when that, that's when that white friend comes in handy. Uh-oh, Ernie, you wanna get this one? Come on now, come on now. Do something. So black people are very afraid of the police. That is a big part of our culture. Don't matter how rich you are, how old you are. We're just afraid of them. We got, we got every reason to be afraid of them. You know what I mean? Like, you're a white lady. You ever been pulled over before? You know, and what they say, let me see your driver's license and your registration, right? See? See, I'm just guessing. <laughs> That's not what they say to us. <laughs> well, you wouldn't believe what they say to us. Spread your cheeks and lift your sack. Like, what the? <laughs> Excuse me? You heard me spread open your cheeks and lift your sack. <laughs> I got a driver's license, too. There's easier ways to prove who I am and shit. What does that prove? I can't go to the bank like that. Cash my check. What do you mean you don't have any ID? Wait a minute. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Chappelle. Right this way. No. Why didn't you spread your cheeks in the beginning? Scared of them. I'm serious, man. You'll be at a red light. The police might pull up next to you. It won't be no big deal for you, but you know what? Well, I'll fucking fall apart. Oh, 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 nigga. Oh, don't look over there, nigga. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> but I didn't always know that was a black thing. It took me a while to figure that out. I, lear I learned that shit in New York. I was in New York City. <laughs> now, I was hanging out with a friend of mine. He's a white guy, you know. We were just hanging out. Yeah. And we were lost in the city, you know, we were smoking a joint. Now, I don't know if it's a coincidence that we were lost and high and shit, but... <laughs> Maybe. My white buddy, he was smoking a joint. <gasps> Dave. Dave! It's the goddamn cops. <laughs> I'm gonna ask him for directions. <laughs> wait. I said, Chip, no. Wait, okay, wait. You didn't see, you didn't see what I did the very first reaction to, to Dave Chappelle. I think it was, uh, oh, why? I forgot. Y'all probably know which one I'm talking about. But in the video, like, the, the video was cut off, like, a lot. <laughs> so the first show, five and a half minutes of yeah. this, I've not even seen before, yeah. but what he about to say, yeah. Was, I, that, was that part? It was that this was part of the, of the video. Yeah, because everybody was like, you gotta see, you gotta see the, you gotta see the video, you gotta see. <laughs> and I'm like, y'all, what did I miss? And I said I was gonna come back and actually see it, and now oh, I got BJ here, so man. this is your first time seeing this part. I can't, man, I, come on, Dave, come on, Dave. <laughs> you gotta have a white friend with you. He is a mess, wait. He said, ask him for directions. <laughs> there was a cop, we could ask him for directions. The cop pulled up, he like, hold on. I'm going to ask for directions. Yeah. <laughs> wait. Wait. Because I'm going to yeah. tell you, if that was me. That, that's not the proper protocol. I'm out. <laughs> that's not the proper protocol where we come from. You and y'all, okay? Directions. <laughs> I said, Chip, no. Chip, don't do it. It was too late. He was walking over there. This man was high as shit. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Touching him and shit. Excuse me. <laughs> Need some information. Uh, start confessing things you shouldn't confess. I'm a little high. <laughs> All I want to know, which way is Third Street? The cop was like, hey, take it easy. You're on Third Street. <laughs> you better be careful. Go ahead, move it. Move it. No. And that's all that happened. That's the end of the story. <laughs> now, I know that's not amazing to some of you, but you ask one of these black fellows, He's that so shit is it. fucking incredible, isn't no. it? No. I'm saying a black man would never dream of talking to the police high. That's a waste of weed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 
because they're going to kill your highlight right you know back, what I'm saying? Okay? It's going to get blown. Go. <laughs> the weed. Man. Serious. I mean, I've been scared to talk to the police when I'm sleepy. I fuck around and get the wrong idea. <gasps> oh. oh my God. That nigga was on PCP, Johnson. <laughs> I had to use necessary force. You saw him. No, no, no paperwork. Just, just sprinkle some crack on him. Let's get out of here. Oh That's how it is, but at the time, I didn't think there was anything no. racial about it. I was just like, man, Chip, you got fucking lucky. You better be careful. <laughs> but then another time, me and Chip are driving. Now, I'm not driving. Chip is driving, and he's driving a little crazy. He's been drinking. <laughs> now, I don't like to let my friends drive drunk, but, you know, I was smoking a joint. I couldn't really say shit to the guy. <laughs> I'm on the influence, too. I'm under influence too. And we get at a red light. We stop at a red light. And a car pulls up next to us. And I'll never forget it. Chippy looks at me, he's all drunk, and she's like, Dave, I'm gonna race him. <laughs> uh, no, I knew not. it was a bad idea. No, no we're not. We're not gonna do that, okay? No. I need you to keep on cruising. If what you, you race mean? him, you're gonna be the first one racing to the jail. <laughs> first one racing to the jail, needing some bail. Right, okay. For real. Right. No, how that's going on. Okay. I knew it was a bad idea, <laughs> but I was high. I tried to explain to him it was a bad idea, but all that came out was, well, nigga, sometimes you got race. I don't know. <laughs> hey, hey, man, Bob. that light turned green and Chip took off, zigzagging and shit so no one could pass. And I didn't even know he was racing. Then the police seen us and pulled us over. Now you understand, I'm scared as shit. I mean, come on, the car smells like weed. I mean, speeding, this man is fucking drunk. I was scared. Chip was not scared at all. It was weird, he didn't even turn his radio down. Isn't that weird a little bit? I mean, if you get pulled over, wouldn't you turn your radio down? Nobody wanna get their ass beat to a soundtrack and shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Not at all. Chip had the music blasting, we're not gonna take it. <laughs> That's the worst of them all, no, man. Oh, really? Really? Just relax. <gasps> Close your butt cheeks. Relax. <laughs> Let me do the talking. <laughs> you wanna know what he said? This is almost exactly what he said. I, I couldn't believe it. He says, oh, oh. Sorry, officer, I... I didn't know I couldn't do that. <laughs> I was fucking shocked. The cop said, well, no, now you know. No. No. Just get out of here. Just get the fuck out of here. You are lying. <laughs> Wait. Yo, no, absolutely he said, not. Okay, in your right mind. In your right mind, okay? <laughs> Y'all know that's an absolute hell no to the hell to the no, okay? I, I, I just like, going to jail. I just like for him how he just like drawing these parallels in regards to white people, black people per se. You know what I mean? Stereotypical. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Stereotypical. But he, but he just makes it. He just makes it just so funny and just irresistible. You gotta laugh. Like yeah. it's just it's it's stupid funny. You yeah. know what I mean? It is. It is. I, now all of this, I ain't seen none of this. Okay, I haven't seen any of this. Just get out of here. Just get the fuck out of here. <laughs> She said, okay, I'll, I will, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Roll the window back up. What? What's wrong with you, Dave? <laughs> What's I didn't know I couldn't do that. <laughs> he said, that was good, wasn't it? <laughs> because I did know I couldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> you were not. Dave, you gotta stop, man. I was shocked. Good, 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 good. I wasn't shocked at the audacity of I was just shocked because I would have never thought to say that. I don't think any black dude would think to say that because 
They know we know the law. <laughs> Every black dude in this room is a qualified paralegal and shit. He knows the law. He's not paralegal. I mean, if one of us even start to do something wrong, an old black man would pop out of nowhere. Nigga, don't do that. That's five to ten. <laughs> okay. Watch out. Okay. <laughs> uh, come on. Well, we know no. the laws and the penalties. Uh. Got chip didn't even know he couldn't race. <laughs> I'm not saying I don't like police. I'm not saying that. I'm saying I'm just scared of them. Nothing wrong with that. Sometimes we want to call them too. Somebody broke into my house once. It's a good time to call them, but I don't know. Uh -uh, uh -uh. <laughs> house is too nice. It ain't a real nice house, but they never believe I lived in it. Be, oh, he's still here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> he's still here. <laughs> Open and shut case, Johnson. <laughs> I saw this once before when I was oh, a rookie. God. Apparently, this nigger broke in and hung up pictures of his family everywhere. Well, let's sprinkle some crack on him and get out of here. <laughs> oh, you know, that's that, that's that whole brutality thing. It's, see, that's common knowledge now. There was a time when only minorities really knew about that. I'm not going to say white people didn't believe us, but you were a little skeptical. You were a little skeptical. I mean, I don't blame you. And then Newsweek printed it and he knew it was true. And then the Newsweek wife was like, oh my God. <laughs> Honey, did you see this? He is a man. Apparently the police have been beating up Negroes like hotcakes. <laughs> he said hotcakes. So the main issue. <laughs> I mean, really, how could you know? Though? How could anyone else know? You know. I mean, you, maybe you should have seen something a little suspicious. Don't you think it was like a little suspicious? Just a little suspicious? Every dead black person the police finds has crack sprinkled on him, I mean, come on. Man. Come on, man. Who gets shot and sprinkles crack on themselves? Nobody will do that. Bam! Oh, oh. <laughs> I don't want to leave no mysteries. He is a fool. No, man, no, no. He said, boo. <laughs> I, just love, hey, I love his animation so far. Like, his I animation is cannot. crazy. He is a mess, y'all. Oh, my god! Absolute fool. Yeah. Leave no mysteries. Absolute. <laughs> I'm a paranoid guy. You know, that's how I am. I am. I'd be scared to call 911 for anything, even if it's like a fire or anything, because they tape those phone calls. I see the shows. They tape them. And then they play them on television. That's fucked up. <laughs> now, I'll say anything if I'm scared. That shit is private, you know what I mean? <laughs> what if I get killed? Mm. And start playing that 911 tape on the news. I'm dead. I can't explain myself to my buddies and shit. <laughs> we watching the news. We have Reg Chapman on the scene. Reg, what's going on out there? I always say it's a guy on the scene a minute. Hi, Bob. <laughs> Hi, yes, we just got hold of a copy of Dave Chappelle's Frantic. 911 emergency call. Remember, viewers, Don't some of it. this language Don't is do disturbing. Don't do it. Hello, emergency. Help! Help, motherfucker, they're coming to get me! <laughs> Calm down, sir. Where are you? Oh, oh, I shit on myself. <laughs> I can't stop crying. <laughs> they play that shit 30, 40 times a day. <laughs> All my buddies will be at my funeral no. looking at me. <laughs> no, man. Dave is the best. I'm trying to tell you. He literally is a mess. This guy, Dave, man. I'm trying to tell you. Like, just the way he animates. Oh, my gosh. And, and role plays with himself. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, like you got you to gotta be an absolute Help, talent. this mom trying to get me. <laughs> <laughs> he chasing me, y'all. I can see that. Yeah. <laughs> he can just... You know how they be playing stuff on there, and it's just like it be over the top and stuff, and it's just like, now why would they put that on on, on TV for people to hear that? 
You know what I mean? But I, I don't yeah, know. I yeah. feel like that's anybody, though. Sometimes, I, you know, it don't be funny. It don't be funny, but I'm like, why would they put that dang on call on dang national TV I know. like that? <clears throat> Just, you put, know what just, I'm putting all, just putting all your business. All your little business out there. Your okay? little personal you got business. Got you sounding all kind of crazy. <laughs> this one was really, really good. This part one, because I just love like uh, I love how he just kind of like makes the comparison with these with the stereotypes, and he kind of takes it to the edge, takes yeah. it a little further. You know what I mean? He's a bit much. And man, it's just comical. I, I like I, I just like the voices because he knows like when when to put it on, when to kind of dial back, yeah. when to go in, and it's like. The timing, his timing is yeah, impeccable. impeccable. Like they, Man. Yeah, they spell timing is impeccable. Yeah. But what do you think so far? It's funny to so watch him part like. One. I, no, it, that little piece of it that I saw, I forgot the clip that it was. Why is okay to have like a white friend or something? I can't remember. I got to go back and look on my feed, y'all. I didn't know that this was actually included into this clip because okay, the, killing the me first so- one, yeah, killing them softly. Gotcha. That one, that wasn't the name of the title, the clip mm-hmm. that I that I actually did, but it was but only it was like from a. This. Five or six minute clip or something. It was really short, so it was cut out. Gotcha. But seeing it now in full, I feel like it has so much more meaning to get the to full it. context. Yeah, because he kind of it. led up to the actual story of when the cop walks up to him <laughs> with his white friend, right? Yeah, yeah. So my here comes a cop. You know what I mean? Yeah, he walks like, up to him. He's been started touching him and everything. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. <laughs> I ain't lost. I'm trying to get the thirst. And he was like, "You're on thirst." Calm Street. down. Calm down. Okay. <laughs> He's like, he said, I'm a little high. I'm trying to get to Third Street. He and he on Third Street. Yeah. Yeah. He's, what's crazy watching him though is like I go all the way back like thinking about Reggie at the club on, on oh, yeah. Professor. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. With, with the hat and the little yeah. with the gap in between his with teeth the, and with everything. With the little uh, the dreads and stuff he had, y'all. He looked a mess on, <laughs> on that show, but that's when I found out about Dave Chappelle. I didn't know anything about him until I saw it. And it Nothing took me even a while still to figure <laughs> out that that was him. So, you know, yeah. but whatever. You know, I was young. I was really young when yeah. that person came out. Yeah, but again, like I said, you know, obviously Dave Chappelle, he's been doing it for like so, so long. He's still it's just, funny as I don't know what. <clears throat> yeah, he is. He is. He is. Yeah. Hey, we definitely got to do part two. Yeah. If you didn't laugh this much, we got to do part two. Yeah. Too, for sure. I got to know what he said in part two for sure. <laughs> Like, oh gosh, I can only imagine. Bro. I just love the way he spins these jokes, man. Like, he, yeah. nobody can do it like Dave Chappelle nah, did. Nah, nah. <clears throat> so, yeah. if y'all enjoyed this video, be sure you give us a big thumbs up. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos from your girl. And mm-hmm. if ain't nobody told you, I love you. And we're going to see y'all in the next video, y'all. Peace uh, out, y'all. Yeah. Bye.